in this lab, you will be testing the enzyme activity of the enzyme bromelain. You will be extracting the bromelain from pineapple and testing whether or not it remains active. As usual, the first step is to gather your supplies. You are then going to rehydrate your freeze-dried pineapple. You want to make sure that you label your tube clearly, so initial state period and then the concentration, which in this case will be around 0.2 grams per milliliter, and then the compound, so pineapple in this case. Your next task is to weigh out one gram of the freeze-dried pineapple. So I'd suggest kind of cutting up your pineapple into your freeze-dried pineapple into little pieces to make it easier to get the exact weight. Make sure you use your weigh boat and zero the weigh boat. I forgot. Zero the weigh boat before you get going. And then you're going to weigh out one gram of pieces of dehydrated pineapple. If you need to cut a little more, that's fine. Try to get as close to one gram as you can. Now you're going to rehydrate the pineapple. So you're going to take the pineapple and you're going to get it all of the pieces into your tube. Try not to lose any before you add the water. And tap it down a little, make sure it's all at the bottom, right? So you can see it's all in there. Then you're going to use your syringe and you're going to add just some regular tap water in there. You want to fill up to the five mil line. Try and be as precise as you can, but it may be a little tricky with the chunks in the way. Then you want to give it a good shake and set it aside while you do the rest of the lap. The next step is to make some gelatin. This is going to be the substance that you will use to test whether or not your bromelain is active. Meanwhile, you want to be boiling some water. You'll also want to make sure that you get some hand protection, so uh, pot holders or something like that. And then you're going to weigh out the correct amount of gelatin. You want to make sure you zero the balance with the weigh boat on there. Oh, you want to label your tube. Don't forget, you always want to label your tube before you put anything into it. So initials, date whatever that happens to be, your class period, and then what's in here. So this is going to be just gelatin, standard recipe, so you don't need a concentration. Then you're going to weigh out the correct amount. And this should all be in your notebook, right? So if you forget the amounts or what you're doing, always refer back to your notebook. Oh, goodness, went way over. If you go over, you can tap a little back in. Perfect. When you get to the right amount, you're going to put it into your tube. That's it for the balance. Next, you're going to add some boiling water to your gelatin that you weighed out in the tube. Okay, so you want to have some sort of heat protection for your hands, so some sort of pot holders. And you want to make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. You may find this easier with a family member to help. Please be very careful that you don't get any boiling water on yourself. And you're going to follow the directions to fill this up to the final volume. Check in your notebook for exact amounts. Great. All right, now you want to make sure this is capped securely before you try and mix it. All right, you want to mix thoroughly until it's all dissolved. All right, check to make sure there's no lumps. If there's lumps at the bottom, use a wooden stir stick to stir them in. Vent it a little bit and set it aside for a moment. And now you're going to test if your bromelain from the pineapple liquid is active by mixing it into the liquefied gelatin and seeing if it solidifies or not. 
you then want to make sure your two small test tubes are labeled. So one of them should be labeled minus C, that's your control. And that's going to get just water and gelatin, no uh, pineapple juice. The other one should be plus B. So that one's going to get gelatin and the pineapple juice that should have the bromelain enzyme in it. I would also suggest getting some sort of cup that these two tubes can stand up in. You want them to be able to be as upright as possible. You don't want them slanted. And you got your lids here, all that. You'll also want your one mil pipette, your pineapple solution, and some tap water. So you're going to take your hot gelatin tube. You may still want to use your hot hands to help hold this. And you want to fill each of your two test tubes up a little more than halfway full with the hot gelatin. Perfect. All right. Well, I got a little over full there. You want to try to basically fill them up the same amount so that they're equal. So whatever you did on the first tube is about what you should do on the second one. Okay. The rest of this, just cap it and let it solidify in the tube, and then you can get rid of it once it's solid. All right. So we're going to start with the minus C tube. Okay. So that's your control. The control is just going to get water added, okay? So you want to add 0.5 milliliters of just plain water, okay? So you're measuring to the 0.5 line here. It's important to start with the water, not with the pineapple, so you don't cross-contaminate. If you've got any bubbles, do the thing where you flick it, push out any bubbles, and then go back and add a little more. You just have 0.5 mils. You're going to squirt that in here, and you want to stir this with a wooden stir stick. Be gentle so you don't spill anything. Set that aside. You're going to put the cap on this and stand this upright. Now for the plus B tube. I would suggest getting some sort of small bowl or container to pour your pineapple solution into. Take your pineapple solution, give it a good final shake, and dump it out into the bowl. This will allow you to get the liquid more easily. You don't even need all the chunks, you just need enough of the liquid to draw. And then again, using the same syringe, because it only had water in it, you can go ahead and draw up 0.5 mils. Same deal, although it's stickier, so, you know, wash your hands afterwards. But flick it until the bubbles come to the top. Over the container, you can press out any bubbles. And then draw back up liquid until you're right at the right amount. Okay, so you got your 0.5 mils. You're going to take your plus bromelain tube and add that in there. You can use the same stir sticks. Again, it was only in the control before. Go ahead and give it a nice stir. And you're all set. All right, so here's what's gonna happen now. These two tubes you wanna put into the refrigerator for at least an hour, and then you're gonna check them. Okay? Everything else should be cleaned and thrown away. So the tube and the wooden stir stick can just get thrown out. The syringe you should separate and rinse really thoroughly and or run it through the dishwasher to make sure you get rid of any sticky sweet residue. You now want to place the tubes upright in your refrigerator for one hour, so set a timer on your phone. While you're waiting, you should clean everything else up. So for the syringe, take it into two pieces, rinse everything well in the sink, make sure you get both parts. And you may actually want to consider putting everything in the dishwasher. Everything was pretty sticky from this lab, so make sure you put it on the top rack, but you should be able to put everything into the dishwasher to get it really clean. You also want to be sure that you clean your lab workspace because it may also be a little sticky. After an hour, you're going to go ahead and view your results. And what you're looking for is whether or not the gelatin solidifies. So you're going to take your tubes and hold them at an angle to determine whether or not the solution is solid. You want to take a photo of the results like this. If the tubes are both still liquid, you want to refrigerate for 30 more minutes and check again.
and then you want to clean out your test tubes with some hot water. You may find that it's hard to get the solidified gelatin out, especially with a minus C tube. You could use something like a chopstick to help. And then either wash them really well in the sink or put them in the dishwasher. That's the end. Make sure you complete the analysis on Canvas.